Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we have an interesting topic. We are going to explore uh, the entire process of drawing envelope curves, also known as backbone curves over uh, cyclic force displacement hysteresis loops obtained from pushover analysis. Instead of showing uh, each individual hysteresis loop, backbone curve effectively captures uh, all the key points on the hysteresis loop to provide a simplified yet informative view of uh, structural response. When evaluating uh, multiple structural responses, such as the ones obtained from experimental and numerical studies or uh, any design alternatives, backbone curves allow for a quick and effective comparison of the overall behavior. Engineers can assess and compare the strength, stiffness, ductility characteristics of different responses very easily. Before we dive deep into today's tutorial, I want to take a moment to thank uh, all our subscribers. Your support really motivates us to consistently provide valuable content in a timely manner. But at present, 80% of our viewers have not subscribed yet. If you like our content but uh, have not subscribed yet, I request you to please subscribe to our channel. It's a small action that goes a long way in encouraging us to create more tutorials. Let's dive into today's tutorial. This is the code that we have written to plot um, backbone curves over hysteresis loops. So these are some libraries that uh, we are going to use in this code. You have to install this first. So the first one is matplotlib, numpy, pandas and uh, URL lib. This library is only necessary when you are uh, importing uh, the load displacement data from any uh, web location. If you have any custom data that is stored on your local computer, you don't need this library. You can directly import the data using any numpy or uh, pandas library. And these two convex hull and uh, 1D interpolation functions I have imported from scipy library. So this one by default comes with uh, anaconda else if you are using uh, general python. So you may have to install this scipy as well. And uh, these are some matplotlib commands that uh, I have given at the beginning for better picture quality and better visualization. This is our main uh, function that plots the backbone curves for a given uh, hysteresis loop. This function takes one variable called URL. Here in this particular uh, program, URL refers to the web location at which your uh, load displacement curve is available. So for demonstration purposes, I'm using uh, the hysteresis data that is available on uh, peer database. So if you look at uh, this particular web location, if you open this web location, you'll be redirected to this uh, web page. So this response corresponds to Tanaka and Park 1990 specimen number four data. If you scroll down to the bottom, you will see the load displacement data here. And if you open it in a new tab, you will see the old uh, structural response here. This one is the displacement and this one is the force. So I'm just uh, copying this URL and uh, pasted it here. And uh, within this URL, you will see this file ID. File ID refers to the specimen. So in this particular uh, peer database, specimens are uh, identified this kind of variables. So I have just extracted a varieties of specimens like this and placed it in this file list. For now, for simplicity purposes, I'm just taking only one specimen and, uh, and I'm placing it this file ID list variable. So when I plug this particular uh, variable in this file ID, it will give me the full URL and uh, I'm passing that full URL to this uh, plot backbone curve function. Within the function, first I have specified a few commands to retrieve the data stored in the web location. So this is primarily done using this URL LIB function. This retrieves the data in the web location, stores in this temporary file variable and using pandas, we convert the data stored in the temporary file to a data frame. And from this data frame, we convert the data to a numpy data. And uh, here I am doing one uh, important operation. So that is in this reverse cyclic plot, I am just extracting uh, the force displacement portion that is stored in uh, first quadrant and the third quadrant. And I am calling them as positive force displacements and negative force displacements. So the data that is stored in this uh, quadrant one, I am calling it as positive force displacement and in the quadrant three, I'm calling it as negative force displacement. When you extract these two and plot in a separate pictures, you will be able to see like this. This one is the positive force displacement data that is available in the first quadrant. And this one is the negative force displacement data that is available in the third quadrant. After separating the positive and negative force displacement data, I'm just uh, drawing the boundaries over the load displacement plots. 
and uh, I'm extracting this boundaries using a special function called convex hull. This convex hull is a function of SciPy library. So I'm just using it to extract all the boundary points located in the exterior of the force displacement data. So if you extract this point and uh, plot over uh, the hysteresis, you will get like this. So this one is our main uh, load displacement data that we have. And this one is the boundary curve that we extracted using the convex hull function. So from this envelope, we just have to remove this particular portion. This portion is not necessary and this is not uh, conveying anything. So that is what uh, I'm doing here. I'm taking uh, each displacement point here. So this displacement, this displacement, this displacement, this displacement, all the displacements over the boundary. And I am taking difference between the displacement of I plus one minus the displacement of I. If in a monotonically increasing situation, all our differences are positive, means always the second point is greater than the first point. If that's so, you will get a positive difference. But once it crosses our uh, maximum displacement, if you look at here, the displacement of I plus one is generally less than the displacement at I. So that gives a negative displacement. I'm using this logic to remove these points from this envelope. After removing uh, those unnecessary points on the envelope, I'm storing the resultant data here and I'm just uh, adding a zero zero variable to this uh, positive envelope. And similarly, I'm doing the same operation for this uh, negative envelope. So after extracting uh, the load displacement data over the boundaries of positive and negative curves. I am plotting it here. This is how our uh, final plot looks like this. The red one represents our envelope and uh, the blue one represents the original load displacement data. You can try out this on uh, many variables. You will get uh, this kind of curves like this. If you can try out this one, you will get like this. Overall, the code presented in this tutorial is generally effective and it will work most of the times. However, on some hysteresis force displacement curve patterns, this code may show some differences and may not work. If you encounter any such situations, please let us know in the comment section. Feel free to download this code and experiment on your computers. Downloading instructions are given in the comment section. Check the first pinned comment. If you like this code or uh, if you face any errors while doing experiments on this code, please uh, share your feedback in the comment section. If you have any questions or suggestions, we recommend you to please write them in the comment section below the video. If you like our content, please hit the like button and uh, subscribe to our channel. Happy learning. Thank you.